That was easy. I was looking for a staples easy button as a gag item to put on top of a large radio tower for a climbing class one was hosting, organizing just before the world went sideways in 2020. I see online the local one has two versions in stock and at least 15 of each. One version is even on sale. I was getting some work done on my truck at the dealer a short walk away so I head over after dropping it off. The store has maybe four to five employees in the front chatting. I am one of two customers as there was an older lady getting things printed. I spent maybe 15 minutes looking but can't find them anywhere so I go to the desk and ask. The woman there says they should be out somewhere so I ask where. She just rolls her eyes and says they must be out then but I could order online. Okay. Well it was just for a stupid laugh and not worth paying for shipping but as I go to leave I check my phone and see I still have the webpage open. I also see they have an order online and pick up in an hour option. Great. I have nothing better to do as my truck was supposed to be ready in about two hours. I found a nice desk chair in the back of the desk display area to sit at where I could see most of the store from. Then I ordered it for pickup. A moment later I see an employee leave the front area with a small print out. He proceeds to walk around for a while. Passing me a couple times. He can't find them either. After another 10 minutes he goes back to the front and gets another person to start looking. More fruitless treks around the store and I can see they are starting to panic. As I am in a swivel chair. I have a great view of everything and can rotate as needed. Thus far I seem to be unnoticed. Now three of them are looking. Another few minutes and a manager has appeared to see what is happening. Finally he gets everyone there to start looking other than another employee still helping the old lady. I overhear him commenting on how other things are not in the correct shelves either. After what has now been 1.5 hours since I entered the store. They realize the buttons are all still in a box up on a high shelf. The desk woman I originally dealt with is asked to go get a ladder and has to come past me. Now she finally realizes what happened and makes a very lovely face at me. She finally gets the box down and takes one out to the register while the manager has everyone else gather around to start organizing the store. I still haven't received the item as ready for pickup email but I get the call my truck was ready. I notice she is glaring at me but must have entered it in as ready as I get the email. Now, as these formerly chatty employees are being put to work, I walk up to the register and get the pickup from her. As soon as I start walking to the door, I hear her manager call for her to come help. Thanks for the tip to order online. Nice touch. Sitting in the chair watching must have been fun. I recently realized my wireless mouse was dying and I needed a new one. After checking a couple other stores and realizing they stopped carrying them sometime in the few years since I last bought one. Is it really that hard these days to find a full-size wireless mouse? I saw on another store's website that they still had them. Dot in the location less than a mile away. From me showed four in stock. Great. I'll just swing by there and get one. Except when I got there the place where they were supposed to be was empty. I asked an employee if they'd been moved or something, not a check in the back, sort of thing. Just a are these in a special display somewhere or something thing. I was informed I'd have to order one from online. And pay nearly half the price of it again for shipping. Except their website was still showing that location had them in stock. So later that afternoon. Curious about what would happen. I ordered one for in-store pickup. Either they had them. In which case now they would have to find it. Or they didn't. In which case. I didn't know what would happen. But hey. It was worth a shot. At the very least I'd know. And maybe it would get them to update their site listing.
wouldn't you know. I got an email the next morning that they were out of stock. And would I like to convert that to an online order with free shipping? One day later I had a package with my new mouse sitting on my doorstep. You should have unpacked the button and pressed it in front of her. That's what she gets for not helping. Retail 101. Tears of joy, tears of joy. I've been in those stores before. No one knows where anything is and there's only one dude just flinging stock at whichever shelf feels. Right lol. This is so freaking funny. Staples and Office Depot are intent on keeping up the grand traditions of Kmart and Blockbuster. If you're into stocks, shorting them would probably not be a bad idea. In my Staples, they just cancel most in-store pickup orders. As they can't be bothered to attempt to fill them. I went by the store that very same day. And the stuff was on the shelf right where it was supposed to be, and got it for the sale price. In other words, they're lazy and would cancel an order before four people would hunt for the item. The best part was, as I am in a swivel chair. I have a great view of everything and can rotate as needed, tears of joy tears of joy like it's the most important part. For the love of God people, use the enter key, P at the target near me. If they can't find an item after 5 minutes of looking they cancel the pickup order on you and you. Get it shipped for free. I'm 95% certain that they don't even bother looking most of the time. Welcome to Staples where everything is always a mess and employees are not very willing as they're treated like shit. Source. I worked there. They were fucking around, so they found out. So, the Staples employees had to climb to the top of the shelf. So you could get the buttons. To make people climb up to get the buttons? I've worked retail before, and let me tell you, I despise co-workers like that. Good on you. That was easy. You didn't pull it out of the package and press it in front of her? TCH, missed opportunity. Well, that was easy. You got to sit and observe them finally doing some work. That's hilarious. Should have pushed the button while walking out the door to have the final words she heard be the automated voice. Well, that was easy. The sound chips in those buttons are easy enough to swap out BTW. Great fun for making rude buttons. I if you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Eracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.